Hello, it's Jason Payne with JDP Realty Group, a coal banker, Dean Hop Realtors. Well, I'm at the wonderful community of Willows Grove in Church, Texas. It's right off 1518, and if you've watched my videos, we're real close to the Crossvine community. I'm out here because I have a military client who's going to be stationed at both Lackland and Randolph, and this is an ideal situation because Randolph is well, literally around the corner, so to the back gate of Randolph, and Lackland is only a ah 28 to 30 minute drive from here straight down i-10 anyways this is a Guillen home it was built in 2014 and just over 3,000 square feet it's gorgeous let's go check it out go. this home is beautiful like i said it's over just over 3,000 square feet and it has that three car garage there's my soon to be x motorcycle i'm getting a new one probably later today but this is a beautiful community very quiet you can tell everybody really keeps up with their lawns we are right off 1518 great school districts we are in the search symbol ISD kind of right across the street from it is the new Rose Garden Elementary School which is about three years old and uh, the high school Corbett will be the middle school and the high school is, is going to be Clemens as of May 2021. But man, look at this beautiful home. I like how they have the three car garage, one of them set off inside. But it's built by Guillen and they've done a lot of uh, detail work upgrading this home. And so it's a lot of folks. All right, let's go check out the inside. Beautiful front entry door. Before I go in too far, I'll show you this little one car garage. I've already got a nice little storage rack built in. Really cool. Right when you come in, you do have a small office with some tall tray ceilings up top. Nice little window, but perfect place to put your desk. You'll be looking out these little French doors. This house is, it was built in 2014, so the seller has done some modifications to it, one of which was putting the light in. I mean, not the light, the uh, TV mount. But I love, love a lot of the modifications that they've done to this house. And I'll show them to you as we progress through this video. But you do have two rooms up front. The carpet looks to be in great shape. Nice closets. Guillen is a really good mid to upper level builder. Um, they do have some more entry level products. Those are gonna be called Great Point Homes. But uh, man, Guillen did a really great job so far in this house. This is a Jack and Joe bathroom, eight foot doors. And if you've been watching my videos, you know I love eight foot doors. Here's the other bedroom, pretty much a mirror of that front one. It is a little tricky, gets a little crowded in here with different doors to different things, but it does have a full bath. Nothing special about this bathroom, but it's the kid's bathroom, so yeah. Or someone else's bathroom. Nothing need to be special about it, but look, check out the entry. I love the A-frame and the vaulted ceilings in here. We do have a mud room section, perfect place for your backpacks, put your shoes underneath, Oops, padded bench even. They've done a lot of nice stuff to this house. These regular two car garage. It does have a tankless water heater. Very cool. At least, yeah, it's a tankless water here. Look kind of small. Powder room open to your public general guest. Your utility room, well, your laundry room is going to be right here. 
got a sink in it, which like I said, this is a really well done house. And it does have a pass through for the Digging the archways. All right, perfect layout, in, in my opinion. You do have a nice, good sized fireplace, but it's off to the side, so it doesn't interfere with what you want to do with your media section. So you can have your TV, and it looks like they've already got the pass through, so your wires won't be hidden, won't be showing. Really great but uh, lots of nice lighting in here. And check this out. This is a beautifully done kitchen. We got the pendant lights, nice granite. Does have the wrap, Oops, thinking a little sideways, has the wrap around it. So it's not the regular drywall going around the side of the island. Nice backsplash. You know this house is a little bit older, 2014. Still has a phone jack. The only reason you'd have that there is if uh, you have an outdated security system that requires that. It does have the built-in uh, oven and microwave by Whirlpool. This is a gas community. So we do have a Whirlpool gas cooktop. The uh, not 50-50 sink. And this is gorgeous. I love this. Very, very cool. But the view from the sink. I'll have to find, look on the MLS paper. Sorry, I didn't look at that. See if the refrigerator is included. Probably is because these people have already packed up and left. But they do have this. This is probably a pretty nice upgrade having this long cabinet space perfect for a serving line and very cute little chandelier and that's definitely an upgraded feature when they had this house built nice flooring in here there is some damage to the wood the engineered wood floor you can see that right there it looks like just their couches kind of chipped it up a little bit but if you get the right uh, kind of um there's another little spot where that happened. But that can be kind of covered up if you can get kind of a grayish marker that's designed to kind of color match it, kind of hides it. it won't make it go away completely, but I'll hide it. But this is yet another neat feature that these sellers did. Beautiful covered patio with the wood put in there. But, uh, this A-frame is screened in. We do have the Sound of Freedom above us because like I said, we are right around Randolph. It is a training base, so they have the T-38s flying right now. But they have this screen right here, perfect for trying to keep mosquitoes out. Because yes, during the summertime, we do get mosquitoes. I've tinkered around with it, but it has a, there's a button somewhere, I haven't found it yet, where this whole thing, comes down you can see the rail and it does come down to cover this whole section the sun i always tell people is very important to know where the sun is facing even though you have shade the sun will be setting back off this way so near five o'clock when it's time for happy hour on the patio the sun will not be blasting you but looking at the backyard they've done a really good job of strategically placing these red tips which are perfect for privacy they grow super fast and you can tell they've been maintaining them but it makes this place look like a little oasis because if it weren't for those red tips you'd be looking right into the back door of your neighbors behind behind your house but not the biggest lawn but big enough it all depends on what you're looking for has the shed and it already has the built-in grill. Sometimes these are scary to open up because you don't know how bad it's gonna look, but hey, this grill's in relatively good shape. Can use new grid, new uh, grates, but overall pretty good. 
the uh, refrigerator. Can be used a little cleaning up, but once again, overall, pretty nice shape. But this screen enclosure, that that's super cool, and that definitely did not come with this house when Guillen built it. All right. I'm gonna go ahead and save the upstairs for last because I love what this seller did to this. So let's go and check out the owner's suite. They do have the bump out. This is a beautiful bedroom, really nice size, especially with that bump out. The seller already has the uh, TV mount mounted for you. The French doors leading into the bathroom. I actually like the uh, color of the cabinets there. Dual vanities. Obviously you can tell which ones are his and hers. <laughs> Beautiful soaking tub with the privacy window and blinds. They really wanted some privacy, but this is a beautiful shower. I mean, I'm loving a lot of stuff about this house. It's got the inset uh, base, so you're not stepping up over some plastic thing. And it's got the rain shower up top. Kind of cool colors here too. And your shelf, so if you need to Sit down to do those leg shavings. That's what that's there for. Believe in yourself. But these are really nice cabinets too. Nice colors. But check out this owner suite closet. And I love the remote light, the motion sensing light. You do have your off season rack. Oh, a little tidbit. If you're looking to sell your house, there's some small things that you can do just to be courteous. And I love it when I see some foresight in people selling a house. Leave one roll of toilet paper somewhere in the house just in case there's emergency. So if the owner of this, if the seller of this house sees you, I notice that detail and I appreciate it. I did not have to use it, but you always have to be thinking of others. Okay, off season rack. And that goes along. This really good use of space. And carrying on that this seller thought of others, he left the extension pole. And then we can go right into the laundry room. We've already been here before, so I'm not gonna spend a whole lot of time in that. All right, now we're gonna head upstairs to kind of show you another feature that this seller has done to the house. So if you get the right previous owner in a house that was built six years old, it's sometimes an advantage over new construction because they've already done some wonderful things. And check out what this guy did here. I'm not sure if Guillen did this. I know they didn't add the curtains, but they have Looking at the baseboards, looks like Guillaume might have built this into the house. But this is his own home theater. So you do have two layers levels. So you have a couch down below and another couch above. They put the big blackout curtains. Those are pretty heavy curtains too. Great for kind of helping with the sound. The sconces on the side are dimmable. So if you want some, uh, some lighting, but if you're watching a show, but you don't want a whole lot of lighting, that's brighter and you can dim them down really low. Very, very nicely done job. And, but wait, there's more. There's a wet bar section with a microwave. So if you're entertaining up here, you're good to go. Yeah, those are pretty stout curtains with the powder room upstairs. I actually kind of like this kind of a bluish gray tile. 
also you have access to your what i call my texas basement they've already put the plywood down and with the cost of lumber not right now as of may 2021 that's nice to have this plywood already down so you have plenty of storage up in your attic space i was just checking to see if they had under mount lighting and they don't that'd be really cool if they did All right, before you post in comments, hey, um, the question of how much the seller is asking 430,000 for this house. The climate that we're in in this part of Texas right now, I definitely expect multiple offers because well, frankly, everything's going to multiple offers right now. It's crazy. And this house is beautiful and in a great location. So yeah, the house came on the market yesterday. I expect the sellers to be making a selection of which offer to accept by Sunday or Monday. So it's just bonkers right now. Anyways, I hope this video helped. It helped my client decide if he wants to put an offer on this house and if so, how much. And for you regular YouTube folks looking, watching this video, make sure you like and subscribe and keep sharing. And if you are looking to move this area and looking for a real estate agent, shoot me a text. I'm trying to grow my business and always remember buyers don't pay realtor fees. The seller covers that. So don't go through this process alone. All right. As always, I'll talk to you. Like, subscribe, share, blah, 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 all that good stuff. And I'll talk to you soon. Take care. Bye.